Well, hello everyone, this is Wilson Cole and I'm president of Adams, Evans & Ross. And I want to take a minute about uh, with you just to kind of visit about a sector of the economy that I just don't like. And I don't like them because they're what we refer to as the soulless beasts. Now, before we go about going up, and before we go into too much detail, let me also say I own a very similar company and, and own a company that is uh, registered with the state of corporations and listed as a, as, as a private equity firm. And what I'm talking about is private equity firms. And a private equity firm is basically just a, a company and do they bring in outside investors, inside investors. The, the source of the money doesn't matter. It's more companies that go and acquire other companies. You know, I've, at the end of the day, I'm a collection guy. Uh, but in the last 30 years, I probably have owned either all or a portion of about you know, 20, 25 companies through the, uh, through the years. And so it, it, it's a tool that typically works very well for both parties. But in the last five years, uh, private equity has used a business model, and I'm going to kind of pick with um, our Northern California uh, clients or, or the clients that deal with the Northern California business model. And private equity has kind of taken that model, but have turned it into something much worse. You know, in, in, in most businesses, you operate, you may have finance and you may bootstrap, but you finance everything based on profits and the profitability of your company. That's, that's how you make a profit. And that's what you look at is to generate a profit. Northern, uh, you know, the uh, tech sector up in uh, Northern California always used evaluations. And it's okay, well, we're going to grow from 1,000 to a million to 10 million, and we're going to sell based on our volume. Now, we may be doing $10 million a year, and we are losing $20 million a year, but we're going to grow it to the next evaluation and either go public or get acquired by, by one of the big companies. And, you know, probably, you know, a few percentage points of those companies, you know, maybe 10%, maybe 15% of those, those companies do very well. The problem is the um, damage that it does with all of those companies that, uh, that have been out and then they kind of implode. And the investors lose their money, but so do the creditors. And that's kind of the business model that private equity uses. You know, I, I heard Warren Buffett say, you know, private equity is, uh, in essence, a scam. It, it's just not, a, and I may be paraphrasing, but basically it's just not a good business model. Five years ago, I may have argued about that, but after seeing private equity firms come through here or private equity firm-owned companies come through here for collections, it is a different mentality. It is a different philosophy, and I can tell you that those are typically the toughest ones to collect um, and, and we still collect on a lot of them, but they're just, you know, in most cases, let me kind of back up, 95% of the companies that come through here for collections, even the ones that don't pay us, had every intention on paying. They just misjudged cash flow. It was never a character issue. It was never a morality issue. They misjudged cash flow. They dug themselves a hole. Now they're in the survival mode. Stuff happens. Businesses fail every day. Private equity loads the deck to where they, you know, either they're going to grow the company and sell it off to a bigger private equity company or to other people. And they're, again, based on the evaluation, not on what their actual profits are. Uh, and, and they're going to just pull out every piece of cash, every asset that that uh, company had. It's kind of the uh, extreme version of back in the 80s where you had leverage buyouts. It, it, it's very similar to that, that train of thought, but they set it up to where the only people that are going to win if things go south is the principles of that private equity firm. Company may go out, employees get hosed, the investors that invested in there may get hosed, and the creditors, if they're unsecured, will certainly not come out on the, uh, the winning end. So if you are dealing with private equity uh, owned companies, two things you want to do. Number one, know that they're private equity. So you know, pull, pull the credit report and all of that, but also have them as well as the, the company that you're dealing with 
have them sign off on your agreement and have it invoiced to both to where it's dual because I can tell you if you've got ABC uh, equity firm and they own XYZ mattress firm and uh, they don't pay you they'll simply shut XYZ or uh, you know mattress company or sell it in an asset sell and, and you're out holding the bag you're not going to get paid but if you have a uh, invoice and a signed uh, agreement with the private equity firm, then it increases your chances because they'll protect the, the mothership. All of these companies that they're out buying in spec, which is a special uh, acquisition uh, company, uh, or it's basically they go out and they open up a company to throw all the the company or the company that they're buying and all of those assets into to where they're not liable, you want to make sure that that private equity firm um, gets, you know, that they're basically cross corporate guaranteeing as the old terminology we used to have. So keep that in mind. If you're doing staffing, be very, very, very careful because that's one of the techniques that they will utilize is they will shift their payroll responsibility over to you and they just saved two to $400,000, uh, depending on the size of the company and payroll expense. And they've also set it up to where if they don't pay you, you're a creditor that didn't get paid. It has nothing to do with the labor board that could, could make them pay their own employees if they didn't get paid. So keep that in mind. And if you, if you hear that they're private equity owned, don't think, oh my God, I've hit the, I've hit the lottery. They're going to send so much business and they could. But you need to be very careful because they will have the deck loaded to where if things go bad, they're going to make out okay and you won't. If we can help you with a collection, please visit our uh, website at staffingdebt.com. Hey guys, it's Wilson again, and this video was brought to you by Adams, Evans, and Ross. And if you like the video, please make sure that you click on the subscribe button and also like the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below as well. If you'd like to learn more about our company, please visit our website at staffingdebt.com. And also remember, if there's no collection, there's absolutely no cost at all.